In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite plays in Madden 23. This is the essentially Y cross concept, um, levels concept as well. Um, it's going to be more so. It's going to be more so like a levels play. Um, but really like this. This is a really simple read for your quarterback or for you, um, and we're going to be able to be beat every defense in the game with real simple routes that. Um, you know, again, are going to kind of force the defense to have to be a little bit more basic, uh, which is helpful because uh, it allows us to beat the blitz quick. It allows us to beat man zone and match coverage. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. It's free. And if you want to get my trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is in the description below. We're talking today about trips tied in out of New England. Um, you could also probably find this play in Detroit and Las Vegas. Um, or not Las Vegas. Or yeah, yeah, Las Vegas. Uh, Raiders playbook. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get in the video. I'm really excited about this concept. And... Um, it's actually really simple. So drive post. Uh, this is truly becoming one of my favorite plays right now because it's so versatile. There's a lot you can do with this. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at this. So drive post, and we're going to be taking a look at a levels concept uh, that I really like. So you can kind of adapt this setup a little bit. I'm going to give you some adaptations that you can make. But the base setup that I like to run is we're going to streak the middle trips receiver. We're going to motion him across the formation. We're going to put the tight end on the out route and block the running back. Now, on the back side, you can also put that backside receiver on an in route if you want to. But as you see, this is a real simple play. Um, but what makes this so good is the fact that this quick out is really good against uh, against man, especially if you have short and elite, which I'll show you again. Um, the other thing that's actually really interesting is you can actually motion snap the streak this year, and it's actually pretty good. Um, so you can kind of snap him while he's in motion, throw your quick out, get outfield. You got a lead blocker there uh, with short and elite. It's really good against man. Uh, these quick outs to the tight end this year are one of the most underrated routes in the game. You know, so again, just motion the sky, get him about right here. Boom, free form outside pass lead. And you'll find that you'll be breaking a lot of quick plays um, specifically against, you know, man to man. The other thing that's really good about this, uh, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this, but uh, the ag catch, just high ball pass it outside. When you motion over a receiver like that, and it's in man-to-man, -man, motion snapping streaks are one of the best tactics for beating man this year, in my opinion, uh, like one-on-one. -on -one. So again, just kind of right before he snaps, he's going to get this little speed burst off the line, and it's going to just basically be you're going to ag them every single time, and it's really simple. Um, again, the formula that you want to use is we're just going to high ball by holding L1 and we're going to pass lead up and outside. So up and outside, we're going to click on to the receiver and we're going to basically just swerve him to go make a catch. It's really, really simple, um, but it makes this play really powerful. And again, you want to kind of wait like right about here. See how he's kind of setting his feet and then it just gets you really nice little separation. It's real simple. It's very difficult for them to stop it. Um, and what they're going to have to do to stop this is either play zone or they're going to have to play essentially a safety. Uh, they're going to have to have safety help. So that's going to mean that this guy is no longer going to be able to help on you know, the, the middle of the field route. Okay, which now means that the whole middle of the field is going to be open, which is the whole point of this play anyway. So again, just with the simple streak being so powerful this year and new motion snap kind of right in there, now they've got to help there and then that right there is wide open and that's the main route on the play that we actually, reason we call the play for is that post route, okay? So you see how this works. Now, the next thing is this backside in route. So the, this, the basic route that you have is actually, um, it depends on who's running it, I will say. If you have a really good route runner out there, I have found that that route is really good. If you don't have a good route runner, which Mike Edmonds is not a great route runner by any means, then it will run the route slower. As you're seeing, he's going to be a little slower. We will, that right there is the good animation. And you get what's called essentially a dice roll, the worse your route running is from what I've seen, where you're either going to get him to run it slow if he has good route running, he'll run it more like this, where he's got really good separation against man-to-man, -man, as you can see. However, again, if you have a bad receiver or if you don't like that route, all you have to do is put him on an in route. A simple in route right here. 
and you'll see that because Mike Evans beat the press rating, it'll make that in route even better. Um, and so now they have to make a decision in the middle of the field as a user player. Are they going to guard? They've got to do a lot of stuff on the right-hand side to stop the play. Uh, let me give you a couple examples of things they're going to have to do. They're going to have to hard flat this linebacker. They're going to have to deep half this guy. Um, you know, And there's also, we still have a lot of stuff we can do on the left side with the same motion. So it's not, you know, typically you might get something like this on the left side. So now they're, they're the whole middle of the field, even in a drop eight coverage, is dependent upon how their user is going to do. Um, so if their user drops in the middle of the field here, um, after they make all these adjustments to try to stop what we're doing, okay, now their user has to make a decision. Am I going to go with the post or am I going to go with the in route? Okay, both are going to get open, and so you're basically just reading the user. Okay, again, the better short route running you have, and if you put short out elite on this player, I have found a lot of consistency with that route to Mike Evans against man. And then I've also, I can't tell you, like, this post route is probably the most consistent around the game against man to man. Um, it's it's very similar to slot post out of tight. Um, that post route's really good as well. These little rounded post routes are very powerful this year. Okay, so that is uh, man. Let's talk zone for just a second. So with zone, um, your your uh, your dude on the outside here, same basic thing. Um, you'll see here. Whoops, I'm sorry, I forgot to put the tight end on the out. Um, if you really want to try this uh, against man, you can get a little bigger of a little bit bigger of a play by leaving this corner. Uh, but he's going to run into this guy, especially short side. But you will see that corner can beat man. So I did want to kind of just quickly talk you through that. Um, if you want to do that, I recommend motioning this guy to the left. You're going to see that he's going to be a little bit tighter to the formation, which is going to mean that this corner route is going to be able to actually run a little bit more the outside. So, you know, again, use your discernment. But I personally recommend uh, the out route. It's just better spacing. Um, in my opinion. So if they run zone, you'll see here that we're going to get, again, another one-on-one. -on -one. Um, now, zone as a general rule is going to play ags much better than man does. However, it's not like completely perfect and no problems, okay? Um, you'll see here, if we want to, if we wait on this, he defend, he kind of moves his hips like that, there's the ag. Boom. So you still have ag potential against zone um, because more than more likely you're going to get a one on one, and again, one on ones mean ags. Okay, this year. So there's that, um, and then you're going to see that this post route is going to get into a nice sweet spot against zone. It's going to probably do a little better against zone. Um, it's going to run a lot faster against zone because he's not getting jammed, uh, so he's going to get open a lot faster. Uh, but essentially, you're looking. You're going to look from your streak to your quick out, which your quick out is not super powerful against zone, unless they're not playing hard flats, which is possible and actually way more likely than you might think. But if they have a flat over there, of course that's going to play it. But then what's going to happen is on the back side of this, again, we're still in that same basic thing. They're going to have to choose: Am I going to go guard the post? Because the post will be open every single time against zone. Uh, unless they run, they're going to have to have very good adjustments to stop this post against zone. So you'll see here, um, you know, my post is open against zone. Boom. So they have to go guard that with one of the people in the middle of the field. Typically speaking, if they're in zone, it's going to be this player that's going to go with him. Um, this user defender right here. Okay. More, more likely than not in a drop eight zone coverage. That's what you're going to get. So now what's going to happen is this in route over the middle, you're going to wait for that right moment and you're going to pass lead that down and inside. Okay. Um, generally speaking, most people aren't going to run two yellows in the middle of the field. Most of the time there's going to be one if there's any. So you're going to get some kind of double like that. Just generally speaking, this is what you'll get in zone. And then, They'll be able to stop that tight end to the flat if they have a good leverage over there. But now they have to go to that post. 
and it leaves that right there into a nice little sweet spot again zone. Really simple play, one of my favorite plays in the game though. Uh, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope this video helped you kind of learn some good concepts. This is essentially a levels play, uh, but I really love this play a lot. If you want to learn um, the rest of the Trips Tied In Offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. I think Trips is such a versatile offense. It's, pr it's probably my favorite offense this year. I do think it's um, I think there's so many things you can do with it to make it effective against the meta from alignment issues to routes to motion snaps. Those are all very powerful within this formation. With that being said, if you want to get our full uh, trip sign in ebook, make sure you're a Patreon member. Patreon members get access to all ebooks and all updates to those ebooks. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of this video and uh, click the link below and become a Patreon member today for just 10 bucks. Thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you join the Patreon today.